Hi, I'm Jerry Saltz, and I'm here to talk to you about art. Sandro Botticelli, Picasso, Marcel Duchamp, the invention of a system. There are more images in our day-to-day -day lives than there have ever been before. But how is the way we see this connected to the way we see this? To answer this question, I think it's helpful to look at the first instances of art that we know of. Cave paintings are as significant in the development of human history as the wheel, fire, coffee. Wow. These first artists invented a way to get the three-dimensional world into two dimensions and attach value to their own ideas. And all of the history of art flows forth from this invention. Think of Picasso as a cave painter, someone who needs to see stuff and have everyone else see what he sees. He fragmented the figure so that he and you can see every part of a body, front, back, even standing and lying down at the same time. Duchamp is like a Neolithic stone sculptor. He arranges old materials to be seen in a new way. We're all still using the same operating system that was created in the caves. For example, Chantal, you're a modern day cave painter. Where does your work come from? My work's a mixture of lines and words and characters, and I allow the pen to kind of tell me where to go, and I just follow. We can identify where art came from, but do we really understand it? Hey, Kehinde, <laughs> what does your art mean? Art is about changing what we see in our everyday lives and representing it in such a way that it gives us hope. Artists of color, gender, sexualities, we're creating a revolution now. Whoa. This is really getting complicated. What'd you just do there? Well, I took a portrait I painted in my studio and, and uh, I plunged it into a vat of paint. You sort of destroyed the painting? Well, there's a fine line between creation and destruction, isn't there? Maybe I completed the painting. Boom! This inherent subjectivity is what keeps art thriving. You know, sometimes I look at Rembrandt and he's like Shakespeare. Other times I look at him and I think, it's so brown. The art world likes to ask, can art save the world? And everybody wants to say yes. Eh, I disagree. But art does change the world by changing how we see and therefore how we remember. This is gonna look so great on my wall. You see what I did there? It's the same cave, but it just got a lot bigger. <laughs> Art contains multitudes, like us. <laughs>